In this example, we're going to find the indefinite integral here. So it looks like we have e to the power of the square root of x with respect to x. If you'd like to go ahead and try this problem first on your own, pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work the solution together. Okay, so it seems like this probably would be a great candidate for a u substitution. So I'm going to say u equals the square root of x. And of course, when I differentiate both sides, I'll see that du equals, and the derivative of the square root of x is 1 over 2 times the square root of x with our dx there. And solving for dx, we can multiply both sides by this 2 times the square root of x, and we'll see that dx equals 2 times the square root of x du. Okay, so when we look to go ahead and change all of these x's into u's, it looks like we'll have e to the u, and then this dx will end up being 2 times the square root of x du. All right, well, we kind of seem to have a problem here that uh, we have a mixture of u's and x's. But I think we'll be okay because this square root of x right here was actually our u. So let's go ahead and kind of fix this up a little bit. So we have 2 times u times e to the u du. Okay, now this isn't so bad at all. Well, it looks like probably we're going to need to use integration by parts on this rascal. And normally we would use u and v for variables, but we already have u um, being used. So let's go ahead and use a and b instead. And so the integration by parts says the integral of a db equals ab minus the integral of b dA. Okay, so we just kind of do this switch thing. So when we do this, let's look for an a and a db. Got everything set up here. Okay, so what would be good? Well, remember we're going to differentiate a, so that looks like 2u would be a great candidate because the derivative is just 2 du. And so that means the leftovers, this e to the u du, will be our db, which means when I integrate, I'll just have e to the u. Okay, so this kind of is working out pretty nicely. So using this integration by parts, it looks like my integral here is going to be these multiplied together. So 2u times e to the u minus the integral of, and then b dA. So 2 e to the u du. All right, this is actually a really nice integral. So we'll go ahead and copy that first part down. And the integral of 2 e to the u is just 2 e to the u. And then we'll stick our plus c right there as well. So it looks like we're done, except going ahead and putting the square root of x back in for u. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have 2 times the square root of x times e to the square root of x minus 2 e to the square root of x plus c. And it looks like using both a change of variables with a u substitution and integration by parts, we have now integrated this e to the square root of x, and here's what we have.